Uh, so let's say three, two, one, one go. Go. And we are introducing you, Keio, flying swell on two from the Sega Saturn. Uh, hidden gem, we may say. But, well, an yeah. underrated game, uh, not well known <laughs> at all. Basically, a 2D platformer, as you can see. I'll explain the game basis if you want. You just uh, control a bunny girl who, who can jump, uh, hop over enemies, take some uh, objects, as you can see uh, with the kappa right now, and uh, have a few weapons like a uh, hammer, an umbrella, or a bow. Yeah. The goal is uh, to always uh, keep uh, a weapon with you, so when you're hit, you just lose your weapon and don't die. If you get hit when you don't have a weapon, you will die instantaneously. Yeah, so the, the, the game may, may look really easy, but in fact, one mistake and you're dead. Uh, and it depends, depending where you die, uh, you can lose seconds uh, to two minutes, literally. So The, the game has uh, three difficulty levels, uh, easy, normal and hard. And the, the level is based on uh, the number of enemies and uh, the time you have to uh, get a weapon back when you're hit. Meaning that in hard mode you will have really short time to get back your weapon, not to die again. So you can also carry houses and throw them uh, to the face of uh, evil tanukis. Because, uh, yeah, why not? Okay, that's unfortunate. So the game features uh, mostly a 2D uh, level platforms, platformers, and uh, some uh, few shoot them up levels we will see later. Two shoot them up levels. In fact, uh, these levels are uh, reminiscent of the first game KO Flying Squadron, which was on the Mega CD, Sega CD for North American people. A game uh, which is uh, quite uh, notorious for its incredible high value on the NTSC market, North American market, which uh, can go for more than uh, $1,000 for the more for some auction I saw recently. It's one of the rarest games, though it's not uh, such a rare game on the Japanese market. And now we are going to the first shoot them up level. So yeah, indeed, because it's, it's, it's the name of the game is uh, you Flying Squadron, so... So, uh, Rami, the bunny girl, your control is on spot. But uh, it's Dragon. Who, uh, and um, on this level, we have a little trivia, which is quite <laughs> nice. Um, you, you have to collect uh, some uh, spot items in order to get to a bonus stage if you want. But as. So you want to embarrass me in front of uh, everybody? That's it? <laughs> okay. okay. Sorry. Thank you. So, uh, and there you can see the, the front cover of the first Kyo Flying Squadron in the background. So, um, in this level, uh, sometimes when me reach the end, he, he, didn't, he didn't know why the bonus stage was triggered. And a triggering bonus stage is a 75 seconds loss on a run, meaning run was over. And the problem was that we thought that he would never take the bonus stage icon, though uh, sometimes a uh, bonus stage will appear and sometimes it will not appear. <laughs> and after watching runs after runs, we could determine that the bonus stage icon is hidden. There, yeah. You can see a boat sometimes passing by and it's hidden just behind the boat. So, as the hitbox of spot is quite large, you can just take the item without even noticing it. Exactly. And uh, yeah, now, now that I know, uh, I just fly way over the, <laughs> the boat and everything is fine. So since this day, we, uh, we, we, you had no more reset. 
Never. Okay. <laughs> yeah, never. <laughs> so little setup here. Okay, that's not so good, but it's okay. So of course, these auto scroll phases, uh, you can win any uh, time. Uh, so you can see the, the style of the game, which is quite uh, cute, like uh, some uh, cute demo. And as, uh, as, as I said before, um, these games are quite expensive today. It reminds me of the Cotton series, for example, that are cute them up too, and quite expensive. Though, if you want to play Keio Flying Squadron 2 now, you can buy the Japanese version, which is quite um, easy to find. It's, uh, it's a game that, uh, that tends to, to rise up in prices, but is, which is quite easy to find. Otherwise, uh, the game is, uh, was uh, never released in North America, but it was on the PAL territory. And now uh, I'm, I'm stopping about the, the, the lore of the game, and we are going to talk about the boss fight that comes, uh, which is a sumo fight. Yeah, yeah, it's a sumo fight. It's in a, a sumo arena, so it's a sumo fight. Uh, I only play the game on a Japanese version, so with a Japanese voice acting, so I don't know the story of the game, <laughs> okay? Uh, don't ask too many questions, please. <laughs> Something will happen, uh, they happen, okay. Th that's it. <laughs> the, the game has uh, a, a sort of story, but what's happening in the game and <laughs> the, the, what what you will see, we just, just sometimes can't explain, so... Now this thing will have arms and legs, which will, they, they will lose it when you hit it, then rinse and repeat. And it has a third phase, yeah. which, well, how can we say that? <laughs> we won't, we won't. So uh, now... Uh, uh, the, the, the funny stuff, uh, I think, are the, the spectacles which are really stoic, yeah, you know. They look like, yeah, stuff happens. Okay, let's focus. <laughs> <laughs> oh? You, you can, you, you can, uh, you can hit uh, the boss uh, by uh, its, its side with, uh, with the umbrella, but you can jump on it too. Yeah. It's, uh, it's faster to hit it with the umbrella, but uh, sometimes uh, you, you screw up and... Uh, <laughs> What's uh, fun with the game is that um, maybe the situations have nothing to, to do uh, the one with the other, but uh, it will it will always uh, make at the end of the of the the level uh, something that will link to the next level, even if it's nothing to. <laughs> yeah, it, it, the, the story is that it, uh, below the sumo arena there were uh, there was a city. Yeah, and that's all. Uh. So the, uh, this uh, the, this part is interesting. Uh, you have um, the normal normal play. You have to take the train and uh, follow uh, the the train uh, that will uh, go slowly on the rails. But uh, if you look closely, uh, you have pillars just below, and jumping from one pillar to another is uh, quite faster. And doing with the umbrella makes it even faster, as you don't jump on. Each pillow, but okay. one out of two. Then this area with the flames, and we will have a second train. Okay, I wait. Just yeah, uh, skipping the train uh, cuts about three to four minutes, I guess. Uh, so. Is, train is, want to do that. is quite slow, and uh, yeah. what's interesting about this uh, this train and this uh, technique of jumping up the pillars is that um, the game tells you that you can do it as a hint. Uh, we'll explain the um, alignment system. Uh, you you can maybe you can trace it if you uh, you can see it if you don't speak uh, Japanese, but in the, um, the PAL version <laughs> it's uh, it's more clear. There is a, an alignment system as you get uh, positive points or negative points through the game, uh, depending on your actions, but depending on what the game says your action is good or is not good. 
having a negative amount of points uh, will give you hints uh, meaning that uh, in the in the in the menu when you're starting the game you have you you can go in the menu and you will have depending on your score a hint of, on how to play the game uh, better me and uh, if you play the game well to have a positive score you will have uh, additional uh, drawings of the game art style things and uh, you can go from uh, minus uh, 127 to uh, plus 500 uh, meaning that uh, you have um, so it's a sort of replay value for this game that may seem short and uh, when it's finished you you think uh, well i won't play it anymore but you can uh, trying to have the worst score or the best score yeah and uh, it's it's really difficult to yeah, having a, a big amount of a positive score can be quite difficult. As you, you can see for the, the boss that uh, that can can be hit, for example, by the side with the umbrella or by jumping on its head, you only have uh, um, points when you're jumping on its head, which is quite harder. And oh, you, you will see, of course, a lot of tanukis uh, in the game, the Japanese raccoon. Is that because the, your main enemy is a tanuki? It's the Dr. Pon. Dr. Pon uh, as, uh, so is a tanuki, as it's a thief, and has an incredible IQ of uh, 1,400. <laughs> Which yeah, is that, that's a lot. That's, that's a, a lot. So but you will see uh, great high, high IQ, but uh, some decisions which are pretty strange. Uh, on this, okay, that's bad. But okay, I managed to save that. Uh, on this level, uh, I, I take a lot of damage boosts, uh, which is only possible on. Uh, the normal or higher difficulties if you play on easy uh, you can't take this damage boost because the enemy are not here for example we saw earlier a damage boost with a with a bomb and the enemy who throw you the bomb is not present on the easy mode yeah and uh, when you launch the game yeah, you, you just start the, the console and you launch the game uh, it will be set on uh, easy difficulties so I wasn't aware of uh, that fact, and uh, I watched uh, a run of uh, Squiddy Bob, which was uh, the former world record, and uh, I, I just saw there was a lot of enemies that I didn't know, and uh, he explained to me, yeah, you just have to play on normal, and uh, you can, can take the damage boost, so shout out to him, and uh, thank you for the, <laughs> for the tips. There is a continuous system too, uh, you can take back the game where you, you stopped it, but you have to activate to the option <laughs> 1000 IQ and I throw a bomb inside my own ship yeah okay <laughs> so you you, uh, you talked a little about story I can tell that we are uh, in the in Edo in the 17th century in the feudal Japanese Japan uh, Rami, in the first episode, uh, Rami, which, uh, who is, of course, the descendant of uh, extraterrestrial race, uh, which is on Earth to keep a secret, uh, and yes, okay, sorry, uh, is uh, against the Doctor Edo, uh, the, the Doctor Pon, in the first uh, game, and the game ends by destroying a good part of the city. And that's where we begin this second episode, uh, where the city is under uh, construction again, and uh, the um, Doctor Pon again is uh, just interrupting. Uh, this is Ayachi Mishima uh, Super Saiyajin mode. Okay, I, I I don't know how to describe this better. <laughs> We, we tried to find a better way to the screen, but uh, I think we <laughs> didn't succeed. Yeah, no. <laughs> and uh, it, the Dr. Pon uh, found about uh, six uh, gems uh, that will allow you a uh, big power. And uh, the quest in KO Flying Squadron 2 is uh, basically 
uh, finding this James, and uh, another character uh, comes in, uh, Imiko, which is uh, who is Rami's rival, and uh, Imiko, Rami, and Doctor Pon are trying to get the six orbs to have, uh, of course, the power, which is the most important. Uh, about um, Alinman system, uh, this enemy that just uh, popped in uh, and uh, will uh, come back later is uh, throwing at you uh, Alinman points, uh, points uh, positive uh, that are red or negative that are blue. It's uh, just another way to have a score and it could be quite hard to avoid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I, I, I will do the, the safe strats here. Because I can go faster if I jump. Okay, if you, if you keep jumping, you'll go faster. But, well, obviously you can uh, fall and you can also hit enemies uh, in a bad way. So you just uh, you just die and have to start over. So I, I, I'll go slowly, but safely. Yeah, here we saw the Dr. Pond with the orbs that he had uh, found so far. This level, level is quite fun, it's not as interesting as the levels in Donkey Kong Country, for example. But it, you, you don't want to do a roller coaster with, uh, with Rami. <laughs> okay, and now... <laughs> now you're falling into... a giant... Warriors? Is that it? Maybe such a place. And this is the underwater level. The underwater yeah. level, who, which has uh, many, many, many ways to to finish it and hidden bonuses. Uh, we will, of course take the the best track we can, the fastest track. Uh, you can take a bubble. Uh, so if you uh, you can take one hit with that bubble, so we'll keep it until the end, I guess. And uh, this level is quite uh, it's quite fun. It's not uh, it's not uh, one of the hardest level. It's nice, good water level. Yes, it's possible to have good water level. Uh, let's say it's not uh, a bad level. Yeah, don't 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 make people imagine uh, there is such thing as a good level level water level. It's it's a myth. Doesn't exist. Don't do water levels, please. Except for the musics. The musics in water levels are always uh, yeah. always really good. The, the musics are in, in this game are, are quite uh, quite good, but well, they <laughs> as as you can see with the graphics, music is just like the graphics. They, you you uh, when you're playing to to uh, to game, just waiting for uh, example uh, an epic boss battle theme that will put your pressure <laughs> on, and this game just have a just kind of silly tune and uh, and that's that's how the game works it's uh... Uh, and, and if you thought uh, boss uh, bosses were strange uh, okay <laughs> just don't blink so uh, the, uh, the just uh, at the end of the level it was indicated a haunted house in Japanese it was translated for the past version and now we are in a Haunted house with the uh, kind of scary boss. So, first phase, quite easy. Oh, oh yeah, no, easy. Quite, easy. Not, easy. not easy. quite. <laughs> you have to hit the end, uh, so by jumping on it or by uh, just uh, use your hammer. Yeah, but. Uh... But come back. But it's okay. I'm not dead, so if you you have, you have three three it to do so, if you don't do it the first time, you have this flame attack, making a, losing a little time. The second phase is <laughs> well, <laughs> you <laughs> just watch. Okay. Uh, so the goal yeah. is to hit the blinking part. Well, can, can you put your face back on your head, please? In fact, no, 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 not like that. Oh, oh, it's. Uh. <laughs> Do it again, please. The, this boss is quite uh, a random, as uh, of course, if the blinking part is the first to get thrown at you, you will uh, win time. Okay, that's nonsense. <laughs> but if uh, we. Uh, 
not uh, have to stay, so uh, now it's good. Two out of three up. And now the third phase, uh, which is... Uh, um, I don't know how to describe this, just we swallow things. And now we hit it with a hammer. And I don't know if he's gonna spit it out. I never saw him spit anything out as I uh, always killed him before. And, and uh, last phase is a Twitch emote. Uh, he spits a uh, coconut uh, drink. Yeah. Ooh. But uh, I don't let him do that. So, uh, on to the, the next level. <laughs> I hope there will not be, the, be no more strange bosses like that. <laughs> so, this level under the Sakura is uh, a level that uh, basically you need to speedrun uh, even when you're playing uh, the game uh, in a normal way. Yeah, it's a speedrun level. Th that's it. <laughs> you speed and you run. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, you have to use your armor just at the right time. Not very hard level once you have the timing for the... Okay, that one is tricky. The two uh, scuba diving ninjas are on the row uh, can be tricky. You, you, uh, as you can see, the run, you, uh, you realize that there is no uh, glitches on the run or, or out of bound, those kind of things. The game is quite well uh, done in this way. Yeah, and because the, the community is, well, there are two people, uh, three people on, on the leaderboard. Uh, it's not a huge community, so no, no, nobody can find time to, to break the game. I, I don't know. Just Maybe just finding a way to skip cinematics would be, would be good, uh, but uh, I don't know what to do. I, I tried some stuff, but uh, I don't know. Well, uh, you, you can see it as a uh, moist avoiding all of them, but sometimes on the ground uh, you have traps that can make you fall and begin. Yep. You can have to do again on the level. You know. Yeah, the, 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 the ground is uh, a different color. Okay, just for fun. <laughs> have to kill. So now here you can uh, you have to move the platforms in a normal, but here you just uh, we just use the enemy to go uh, go up. You really want to kill that enemy because he will uh, kill you uh, afterward. Okay. Okay. It's my less serious time, I guess. So as I said, um, the game uh, was available in the PAL region, but uh, it's quite uh, rare now and quite expensive. But if you manage to find a copy of the PAL version, you will have a full translated game. Oh no, don't tell me the game is uh, against Strange. Yes. <laughs> strange so. boss time. <laughs> Opera. Okay, first Opera phase. House. A popular house and uh, pigeon. Well, you have to hit the bird and... Uh, I did the safe strat here. I can be more aggressive, but I can fall. I can be hit by the rooster. Uh, but I skip two phases. That's the most important. <laughs> uh, as I was saying before, so the, um, the game in the PAL region is fully, fully translated with a full dub. And uh, for you North American people, you can play the PAL version on your NTSC console at 60 Hz, as the game is not optimized at all for the PAL version. So uh, it will be no problem to play it at the right uh, speed on the, on the NTSC console. But yep. now it's time to manage to find the copy, which, is, which will be <laughs> more mm, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, next, shoot them up, please. Yeah, really long shoot them up phase. Uh, and I don't want to to fail that part because uh, if you lose on the on the boss, uh, it's three to four minutes time loss. So there is no checkpoint. Yeah, no checkpoints. Uh, I, I, I will. I won't kill the koala. At look, it will throw me his children to me. So. <laughs> I, 
I, I prefer uh, take down all the entire family instead of separate them, I guess, uh, <laughs> and suffer the, the betrayal of the, their parents. Uh, we, we didn't talk about the bonuses. Here you have a Rami head, which is a one up, of course, yep. and you have an item too to have a more continuous if you want. They are quite hidden here and there, sometimes a little tricky to get. But... Overall, it's a, it's a fun and uh, simple game and quite uh, direct game. We wanted to, to show the world this game. I mean, uh, we encourage people to play it as it's really uh, one of the, our yeah. favorite games. And yeah, yeah. Uh, so you can see, you can read on the screen now V Saturn uh, on yeah. the, <laughs> in, the back, in the background. The game is made by Victor Entertainment. And as you, uh, as you may know, Saturn, like the 3DO for example, was made to be a standard as. Um, Many uh, many brands could uh, make their own Saturn. There was uh, Sanyo, there was a uh, Victor One, and uh, of course uh, nothing. Uh, we are jamais si bien servi que par soi-même, on dit en français, meaning that um, you you can uh, do uh, things better than by yourself. We uh, they are just advertising for their own console on the game they made for it. <laughs> yep. And I uh, took the wrong power up, so I won't have the power bombs to to fight the boss. But I am my uh, full fire power on my main. Uh, yeah. uh, little spot is not a very good. Uh, power up uh, bombs are better. Bombs are uh, thrown uh, in the direction opposite in which you're uh, you're pushing. Meaning, if you push left, yeah, the bombs will go right. Yeah, exactly. And the alien boss. The alien boss <laughs> in the part version, uh, which is uh, translated, uh, sentences are fully translated in the part version. The, in this saying, uh, I'm an alien, Cassius Slaughter, and hey, what you doing? Something like that. That is not talking, is. Uh... Okay. I skipped one phase because I uh, managed to, to do enough damage. But uh, I should have killed him way uh, faster. But, okay. No, RNG time. Good RNG. Yes. So. So, yeah, yeah, explain, explain <laughs> please. <laughs> you, there is a tournament. So you have to uh, win the tournament. You, you have a two uh, semi final and the final. And uh, you have to beat uh, your opponent to, uh, to win. Uh, the tournament. This boss, you have to take the bomb and throw the bomb at him. Makes him makes him easy, easy, but it's full of RNG, as you said. Okay. But good. here is huh? good. Uh, so, so the the timer of the bombs are written on the bombs, and if you have a one, it, you have to be really quick. And if the boss is too far away, you will uh, lose a hit. Uh, so and that's the perfect RNG for that boss. And the other boss, uh, well, if you have the other boss, that's a bad RNG, whatever happens, <laughs> uh, because it's way longer to to, to defeat. So now, against Imiko. To have the orbs. Yeah, that, that's funny. You, you you have to gather some crystal uh, crystal balls, and uh, there is a, a tournament, uh, a fighting tournament. Uh, that reminds me of something, but uh, I, can't, I can't say why. I can't say what. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, to go further, uh, you, you can say the, um, the Japanese version uh, has quite uh, a few actors that are dubbing the game, including uh, people that have uh, that have been dubbing uh, animes like uh, Pokemon or uh, Dragon Ball Z, as you said. 
And uh, th there are uh, an animated cutscenes on the game, which are made by uh, Studio Pierrot, uh, which is a really famous uh, anime studio, uh, which brings you uh, yeah, Naruto, for example. The, the most known, I, I guess. So uh, the, the game is quite uh, quite unknown in, uh, in uh, Europe and North America, but in Japan it seems it's, um, it's not uh, just like a little game with huge budget. Means it's really a game that was uh, was well known. So the, um, there are, uh, there is a third game in the series I didn't talk about. It's a party game for the first PlayStation, which is only av available in uh, in Japan which uh, is around uh, 100 dollars at the, the time on uh, on auctions uh, <laughs> personally i didn't uh, play uh, this game and there is uh, quite uh, um, a, even a highest uh, item uh, about um, this game it's a japanese disc and there was only available uh, as a demo in Japan, which contains the, um, the full motion video of the first episode in better quality than on than, uh, Mega CD, uh, art gallery, and uh, some uh, levels of the game. This item uh, is quite rare now and uh, really hard to find. Also, uh, the game is well known in... Um, I know uh, that uh, back, uh, back in 1996, I played this game on a demo disc uh, as uh, here in France and uh, on, in Europe in general. We had uh, demo discs for the Saturn and one of the most famous demo discs was uh, Preview Volume 1, which was uh, black and uh, green. And it has on a demo of King for Kayo Flying Squad 2. So back then, uh, I just got my Saturn and I wanted to play this game, but I mm -hmm. was never able to find it anywhere to buy in shops as the game is Quite a raw. So, so I got my revenge. The year uh, selector. Uh, you, you can now take uh, your time to, to go to the bathroom or take a cup of coffee. This is uh, this is the most maybe the most boring uh, boss of all time. Uh, I don't know. You will see. You will understand. This is the final KO Flying Squadron 2 boss. As you were swallowed by, uh, so uh, we didn't tell what, what just happened. The infamous Dr. Tanuki just uh, got back uh, all the gems, uh, made this uh, monster that swallowed you, and now, of course, you're breaking its heart. Yeah, literally. Uh, as you can see, and you can. The face. You, I don't know. We can jump on platforms that are appearing uh, as soon as uh, me uh, just uh, hit the boss. In Japanese version, uh, the boss is uh, complaining <laughs> about what's happening to him. As he can't talk, uh, as it's the heart, <laughs> he just uh, wonders why you're hitting him and uh, just <laughs> saying his pain uh, of what you're doing to him. But in the Paul version, they decided uh, to translate these platforms, but as they uh, didn't have uh, maybe the the place to, to write the full sentences like in Japanese or maybe they, they wanted to, to, to do things a little, a little different. They translated this with words that are more or less Japanese related. So in the PAL version you can read on the platforms Samurai, Geisha, Shogun, Ninja, Sushi, Sukiyaki, Karaoke, Fujiyama, Arakiri, Bansai, Karate, Otaku. Yeah. Well, I, I let you <laughs> think what you want about this. <laughs> it uh, it yeah. brings a little more nonsense, but <laughs> is it <laughs> pertinent? I don't know. So now we are we are reaching no not quite uh, the end. Uh, the boss takes about uh, it's uh, eleven. It's eleven. It's yes. We are more than halfway. It's uh, it, it may seem uh, random, but it will always appear more or less at the same place uh, in the level. Yeah. The, the difficulty here is uh, hitbox is that the hitboxes are really wonky, uh, especially the hitboxes of the small tanukis, uh, which can hit you with no apparent reason. 
And uh, the other difficulty is that, well, the bus is really long and kind of boring, so sometimes you just don't pay attention enough and you get hit. Uh, it was the final light? Finally. Already? So I, I will just let the... Yeah, see? A little Nekomata. <laughs> okay. And time is... Uh, time! No! <laughs> Sorry, I didn't want the... <laughs> and now? It's already over. I hope we uh, we gave you... Uh, the, the, you, you, that now you want to play this game. I think uh, me is satisfied with this run. Oh, that was an awesome run. I, I think uh, that's not the world record, but uh, maybe 10 seconds uh, past that. So it's a really, really awesome run, to be honest. So, I will thank uh, the uh, YesGDQ for, for us this special year. Uh, so we, we can, uh, from where we are, uh, participate, can be a part of the YesGDQ uh, more than, uh, than we usually are on the, the French stream. D'ailleurs, coucou les gens. And yeah, uh, shout out to we, the French restaurant. We want to apologize for this uh, awful French accent. Uh, just uh, it's over <laughs> now. <laughs> and uh, just let us find out word to me, of course. Yeah, so thank you, Jidiku, for uh, letting me uh, present uh, that game. And uh, yeah, I, I will be short because we are late on schedule. So yeah, shout out to French Restream and all other Restream around the world. I think Restream are a big part of GDQs too, so it's important uh, what, what you're doing. And uh, the more important is, uh, well, uh, the, the motto from the French Restream, Gardez la pêche. <laughs> and it's, it's all for me. All right, thank you very much for that amazing run of Kyo Flying Squadron 2. That was me, by the way, who ran that one. Thank you very much. This is Summer Games Done Quick 2020 Online. We are getting ready for our next run here. That is going to be Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. And make sure that you get your final donations in for that bid war to decide the color because that is actually i do believe that is actually closed up now so it has been decided so i am getting ready we got a few more donations here but we're getting ready to to, to i'm getting ready to leave the virtual hosting desk and pass it over to our next host esmar but for now uh let me see what we've got here we got a few more haikus come on in we had a 25 dollar donation from doc sigma who says sgdq rocks one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Well, we'll point. Well, that's the, uh, that, that, we'll, we'll give you that one. We had a $5 donation from Captain Picklefork who said, a little haiku from me to all you. Keep those haikus coming. All right, and right now we are going to go to a Twitch advertisement. We'll be right back.
Hey, what's up, GDQ? This is Esmar here, and I'm going to be holding down the hosting desk for the next uh, segment of this Summer Games Done Quick 2020 online event. Uh, I'm really excited to be to be here with all of you, and I'm really excited to be hosting for this next run, which is going to be Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. In the meantime, uh, I've got a couple donations to read off. A couple more of those haikus for you. We've got Whole Almonds with $50 reading, here's my haiku. Watching while at work, so now you get my wages. Cool, 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 cool. We've got another $10 haiku from The Bogar Games, who says,